Hello, I'm Noel, and today I'd like to share a journey that I experienced with wrapping up a painting that I wanted to add to my About section of the website. It's uh, based off of a logo that I've designed to represent the brand of my artistic endeavor, and I wanted to create a bit of a fine art piece about it, uh, inspired by Andy Warhol, Jasper Johns, and um, the Warhol Basquiat series really uh, resonates with me. And so I'd like to share the journey with you. So check it out. Okay. So this is a piece that I'm working on for my about section of the website. This artwork is more than just a visual piece. It's a conversation with history. Each stroke, each layer in this painting is a tribute, an attempt at trying to channel the energy of my favorite artist through this work. Each section is just built up of layers, textures, um, that have kind of locked up into a unrecognizable uh, piece, which onto itself I think is pretty cool. The actual logo, which started off at a really good state, has now been pushed back too far. And, uh, I want to pull it back up a little bit while trying to maintain a level of awesomeness. So I'm going to pull the dark color. What I like about working in Rebel is the convenience of sampling colors directly from a layer, enabling me to freely paint without the concerns of maintaining a color palette. I'm going to enable the quill. Using stencils in the digital realm is very much like my physical work. I love cutting out stencils and seeing how the paint interacts with it. And Rebel seems to nail this in the digital space. Grab the latest. Oof, that is just so good. As I navigate the Rebel software, adjusting colors and textures, I find myself in a dance with the digital canvas. Brushes out of the box with no changes or anything are incredibly powerful. Blending traditional artistry with modern technology. So let's make a dirty brush. I didn't want that to be dark. I want the part around it. So that's the beauty of working digitally, is that I can undo. And now I'm gonna build around that text. I'm not sure what it's saying. And that's sort of the point. David Carson, a famous graphic designer who did um, a lot of work for skateboarding magazines and surfing magazines. Created somewhat of an art form out of graphic design. Probably one of the few. Um, has a unique take on the legibility of typography. In design which is because type is there people will want to instinctively read it i'm trying to bring out the essence of the logo while still maintaining this idea that this is a piece of art but i agree that because there's letter forms in here because there's text in here the viewer may be more inclined to decipher what says what and I love the texture of it. I love the way the partial letters look. Ooh, you saw what happened there. Kind of 
the structure of Rebel has textures that influence the coverage of paint. And just now it went over just a residue of the D from the quote that I have in there about my mission statements. These are phrases taken from work that I've tried to do with Brene Brown and uncovering shame and mission statement of I am creative as fuck, have a fearless faith in God, I have a solid program of recovery, and I am capable of both giving and receiving love. The work that I explore to do, or aim to do, in this platform of fine art is to touch in all of these aspects. I am looking to fearlessly explore lessons that I am learning or have learned in my personal recovery. Belief in God. And um, sometimes art, just for art's sake, something that just looks amazing. And um, so that is, that is me. So now the big reveal, let's turn the stencil off. And that's pretty damn good. Art in its purest form is a reflection of the artist's soul. And for me, this is about fearlessly exploring life lessons, beliefs that are held dear and also mixed with the sheer joy of creating art. This piece with its partial letters and obscure text toys with the idea of legibility. It's a visual puzzle that invites a viewer to find meaning within the abstraction. That is all that was needed to wrap that up. I think that's enough information of the logo mixed in with the abstractions from the other layers and that really nailed it. But what's amazing, let's, let's, uh, let's go nuts with adding some drips, Andy Warhol, in doing some of his early soup can paintings, some of my favorite ones, showing uh, the art critic that made him famous. He was sharing with him the soup can paintings. I was like, man, the soup cans are really where it's at. Asked him, why, why the drips? He was like, you know, this is Jackson Pollock, and you know, it's good to drip. And he said, all right, well, go back and do a soup can painting without the drips, and then we'll talk. Eh, don't ever tell me not to drip, because to me, that is where it's at. The stuff that Andy Warhol did, which in my uh, scenario would be, you know, working with vectors and my experience with graphic design, you know, doing that stuff and mixing it, mixing that clean edge with the intuitive, happy accidences, abstract expressionism mixed in with those hard lines and vectors, I think is where some magic happens. Yeah, I mean, art is art and told. The artist says that it's done. And this is pretty close to done. It's clearly, it's time to give the cat some attention. She's been patient enough. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully that's good. Through this piece, I've explored my love of art and creating it. Um, Rebel is an exciting program to use in this digital space. Uh, I'm super excited with how physical it feels. And um, yeah, I think it's an interesting piece and I appreciate you taking the time to view it. And thank you for joining me in this journey and um, we'll see you next time.